After arriving in Buffalo on Tuesday, the Friars took to the ice at the Key Bank Center on Wednesday. Hello everyone, I'm Nick Rojas as the Friars prepare for their Frozen Four semifinal matchup with the defending national champion Minnesota Duluth on Thursday. After practice, the Friars spoke with the media about playing on college hockey's biggest stage. It's definitely exciting. Um, we've worked all year to get to this point and uh, now that we're here in Buffalo, uh, it's a great city. We've, uh, we've been here for two days now and the hospitality here has been awesome at the hotel, uh, at the rink. Uh, the people here are just awesome. It's a great honor to be here. But, uh, we got to make sure that we're ready to play. Like Jacob said, we've worked hard all year uh, to get here, but I think all of us have also worked our whole lives to get here. Not a lot of guys are still playing at this time of year, so uh, it's really cool and we're glad to be here, but like Casper said, we're also here to win. This game is a sort of homecoming in more ways than one for Jacob Bryson. The junior defenseman, who hails from nearby London, Ontario, and was drafted by the Buffalo Sabres, feels like this week is extra special. Buffalo is close to home, which is most important. Uh, my whole family is able to get out here, which is nice. Uh, I know a lot of people will be watching the game, but I think uh, as a team, just it's, it's so special just to be here. Um, and Buffalo does make it nicer, but uh, we're mostly focused on Thursday's game and hopefully uh, winning that one and taking home a national championship. Coming into a new team as a freshman can be an adjustment, but Jack Dugan has fit in seamlessly, helping guide the team to the Frozen Four with 39 points on the season. The Rochester native felt a season like this for his team wasn't out of the realm of possibility. Coming into my freshman year, I knew we had a really good team and um, we have a, a lot of really good players. So I did think we had a shot to get here and um, it's been kind of a crazy ride, but um, it's nice kind of being close to home. Like Jacob said, he's also close to home. So a lot of family will come out to watch this weekend and hopefully we'll be able to do something special. Jack's always been a, a, a pretty special talent with the puck. He's got great vision, he's got great poise, and he's done a great job. You know, he's, I think he's, uh, he's a player that's continuing to grow, um, and, and he's really starting to understand that aspect of it. Coach Lehman previewed the matchup with the Bulldogs, who he believes is a team that resembles his own. I think both teams are heavy. I think both teams you know, play as a group of five well. Um, I, I think Duluth is one of the best coach teams that, that I've watched on film. As I told our guys this week, there aren't, if you look at the, the major statistics across uh, across NCAA Division One, it's Providence and Duluth are almost right next to each other on every stat. Scoring offense, scoring defense, power play, penalty kill, save percentage, both of them are 920, you know? So, uh, you know, there's not a big difference, um, you know, between the teams. I think it's gonna come down a lot to, to will and want and desire and who, who can influence, uh, who can influence their game on the other team and, and specialty teams. The Friars will be playing in the first game on Thursday at 5 p.m. You can watch on TV on ESPN2, TSN2, or the TSN app. John Butchagross and Barry Melrose will have the call for you on television, while your broadcaster on radio will be Mike Logan on News Radio 104.7 FM. For everything else, head to Friars.com and follow the team along on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram as we bring you all the exclusive coverage of the Friars in the Frozen Four. From Key Bank Center here in Buffalo, New York, I'm Nick Rojas. Friars.com.